All right, man, let's talk about uh, rumors that Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather could be doing a rematch. Um, you know, like I said before, man, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's a continued money grab. McGregor got a lot of uh, legal issues, too. I mean, you know, getting beat up in the UFC, you know, even though he's, you know, broken leg, said, I'll be back, I'm going to whoop you. I mean, he's done as a UFC fighter. Once that Mayweather money hit his account, even though he make a lot of money in the UFC, he wanted, you know, a few fighters that really make in the bag in UFC because he, you know, he got a deal with, with the UFC and they, you know, split some of the profits more than he split with the other fighters. You know, they, they you know, Floyd Mayweather need money. I keep telling y'all that. I keep telling y'all that, man. It was put to me. I read it word for word without putting the, the name in there. Blase Blah told me last week that Floyd is trying to get the McGregor rematch. Or the Khabib fight, he need money. Laugh out loud. So they saying he need money. And that come from somebody very close. So he was talking about, I got a million to do the, the I got a million to do a press conference and all that shit. He doing us, it, Floyd, it's a, it's a lot of different other ways to make more money than what Floyd doing. That's all Floyd know how to do is, that's all Floyd know how to do, you know, to get the bag. Is fight to make a smart investments. He has smart investments, and the investments was was really you know paying you know dividends for him. You think he'd be you know still take a punishment for a check, bro? Come on, man. He said, "I'm still cashing checks from Al Heyman ten years ago." Just listen to that comment. Al holding on. Al holding on to your money that long. Crazy, right? So, I mean, it is, I mean. Come on, it's a clown show. They both need money. You know, he did good in the rematch. I mean, he did good in the original match, too. So, you know, he did good enough, and they, that's why he carried them, and now they're doing it again. I mean, how many years ago was it? Come on. Floyd Mayweather reportedly in talks for a rematch with Conor McGregor. Conor, Conor McGregor seemed to confirm his acceptance to another boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. You know, it says, brace yourself, boxer, where rumors are beginning this world, we might be in line for another class of the Titans as a former UFC champion. The emphasis on former Conor McGregor put up a curious post on Instagram suggesting that he accepts the rematch of Floyd Mayweather. So, you know, he says, I accept. So, I mean, it is what it is. The iteration of the talks involving Mayweather and McGregor is really sort of emerging without a lot of hardcore uh, substantiation, uh, substantiation. But Fight Hype, who are known to have inside track on all things Mayweather, are citing their sources who corro uh, corroborate that there are ongoing talks between the parties for a rematch. He said Mayweather McGregor, of course, meant for fighting their 2017 blockbusters that showcased two of the biggest stars in the combat sports. And even Mayweather was literally at the end of his professional fighting career at that point. He still managed to garner a ton of attention and bring in huge money for both fighters. And we all know money loves money because that was his driving exhibition circuit over the past several years. Um, you know, the rematch between Mayweather and McGregor wouldn't likely have impact uh, now as it does did then, but it's certainly more remarkable than Floyd fighting Don Moore, Tanishi, Nashikwaka, or possibly Logan Paul. We'll see if these talks pick up any steam and more information becomes available. Maybe uh, this goes nowhere fast, but I do know for sure uh, everyone here will be anxiously awaiting. Yeah, it don't happen. So, uh, shout out to the writer of this article. It was Will Esco. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, if they want to fight, they want to fight. Um, you know, they want to fight, they want to fight. You know, who going to stop them? So, only way you can, you know, stop a third fight or, you know, uh, get at them is not pay for the fight. I don't know who ordered this. Who the f is this? I don't know who ordered this or why is this still a topic. But like I said, they said Floyd need money. You know, he ain't never downsized his lifestyle. And, you know, as you get older, you got to downsize your lifestyle. You got a house here, house here, house there. You're paying taxes here. You're paying people to manage the house here. You're paying utilities here. That's a stretch for anybody damn near. So at some point, you know, um, at some point, you got to uh, you gotta downsize, bro. At some point, you got to downsize. And that's okay. You got to downsize. You know, but like I said before, 
the money man has been talking. He had money problems for a while. He got to pay taxes and insurance on all that stuff. And you know, that's what people don't understand, bro. That's what we don't understand as kids, how expensive, how expensive it is to be a uh be an adult, bro. It's just like you don't even own your property. You can own your house, you still gotta pay taxes for the the how the property. My neighbors complain about water paying the water bill. We're gonna pay water. Water should be free. Well, they gotta clean it. <laughs> you know? So that's just what it is, man. Some of the stuff you don't notice when you were a kid, bro. This shit, man, living is expensive, dog. Living is living is expensive. It is, bro. So, but uh, but yeah, like I said, I mean, the first fight it was cool, you know. But you know, I ain't like how they use race to drive it and all that stuff. You know, how he used, he called him a boy and, you know, all the stuff that he did. I ain't, like, really respect Mayweather for that. And somebody going to uh, somebody gonna talk that amount of shit, you know, you going to lock his lights out fast, quick. You got to knock his lights out quick, but I said before, he struggled fighting Logan Paul. He did. He struggled fighting Logan Paul. So Floyd, man, all this thing, all this is like we really look at it. All this is saying validity. This nigga need money. You go to his titty bars drier than the you know Arizona desert. So, like I said before, it, I mean, he he obviously fight for money. I mean, what else he fighting for? He told to his career he fought for money. He told Pride Floyd said Floyd when Shane said, "Oh Shane, I don't fight for money." I said, "What you mean you don't fight for money?" Surprise fighting, duh, dummy. <laughs> so he in it for the bag. That's what he in it for. He got to, got to get the, you know, had to pay them funds to get his his, his daughter out that situation. You know, got to, you know, upkeep a lifestyle that he should be downgrading, downgrading from. And also on top of that, premier boxing champions. Is in trouble, trouble, trouble. In trouble, trouble, trouble. <laughs> you know, so I mean it is what it is. They in trouble too, so this is gonna help put some money in their pockets if they involved. That's why he's been cutting them out of uh that's why he's been cutting them out of deals. That's why he been cutting them. That's why he be cutting them out of deals, bro. Because Al Hammond allegedly be taking his money, and and don't be giving him return on his, and then be giving him his money ten years later, five years, two years later. That's what Logan Paul was complaining about, and it don't be no interest on the money. He probably make the, he probably reinvest the money, get interest, and give you your funds. You gotta remember too. AB Hugo Centennial Dream was talking about that on Instagram, how they get paid once a month. And ain't no interest on them holding your money. Anytime they hold your money, you should be getting interest on your money. That's why a lot of people, that's why a lot of people uh believe in, in the stock market, even though it's more of a risk than it's bigger risk than an index fund. But that's why a lot of people believe in the stock market. They hold your money, you want a return for your money. Straight up and down. If somebody hold your money, bro, for a day, so there should be interest on it. And Al Hammond and Leslie be holding their money and don't even be giving no interest. Crazy, right? Oh, he be trying to cut Al Hammond out the deal. So that's what it is. He talk all that all that big boy stuff, and Al Heyman be hoeing him. And then a rumor has it that there's a rumor that has it that you know when Mayweather got into that tax situation and needed some money, that him and Al Heyman uh, made a made a deal, which. Floyd Mayweather gave up owning the fighters for Al Heyman to pay, allegedly pay his tax debt. 
and that's why Floyd do have a stake in uh Floyd does have a stake in in uh PBC, but he doesn't own any of the fighters. And Leon Muhammad was saying that in some in some of his interviews that Don King had had sat down with Floyd Mayweather and tried to get him to fight Corey Spinks and don't mess with Al Heyman. But Don King gave him some advice and told him that if you go, you know, mess with uh uh Al Heyman, make sure you own some of the fighters. And Floyd, you know, in order he didn't, you know, Al Heyman gave him an uh, ultimatum. Or when he went to jail, it was one of them things. He gave him an ultimatum, and you know, he paid that. Allegedly, he paid that tax debt instead of just saying, "Floyd, here you go, pay the tax debt." You know, do your fights. You're gonna just, you know, you just pay me back then. You know, but no, he paid his tax debt. And, and you know, in exchange, in exchange for the tax debt, you know, they, you know, you know, they they chose to, uh, they chose to uh, exchange, you know, owning the fighters. That's what they did. They they chose, you know, no ownership. So Floyd don't really have a stake in PBC. He really don't. So, so he fighting because they saying, I'm just saying what they saying. Allegedly, he fighting because he need a check. So, so, I mean, it is what it is. This don't surprise me. Conor McGregor out here, you know, getting racking up lawsuit and racking up legal fees at the legal fees and he can't hack it in the octagon no more so he need a check so he need a check it's crazy you know and i i won't buy i didn't buy it the first time why would i buy it this time when floyd mayweather told us that the black people to help him get to where he was financially it was the latinos well how the latinos buy this fight how the Latinos buy this fight? Straight up and down. It's a cold world. You know? But, you know, like I said, I had no interest in it. Two fallen stars, two old, broke down, beat down Pintos trying to finesse the fans one last time. And, and Floyd Mayweather didn't even do what he's supposed to do with, with Logan Paul, Conor McGregor, Dime Moore. Out here playing with his food, he ain't he still ain't getting knockouts versus nobody's for real. He did knock out McGregor and but he and the other guy, but he ain't really doing it in vicious fashion. Why want to see you, you know, come on man, play around with people, get McGregor the hell up out of there quick and show him that he don't belong. You playing with your food to the leave the door open for a possible rematch, like we stupid. Real boxing fans know what's up. Real talk, real boxing fans know what's up, bro. Like I said before. You want to get them and get them and get them in there with nobodies and shit like that and pity pat pity pat pity pat roll pity pat pity pat pity bro you want to make some money why not break bread with a b why not break bread with a b that's crazy to me break bro break bread with your brethren fight adrian brown or floyd maywell ain't trying to let nobody black get no shine Trying to tell y'all, Don Moore, he showed Don Moore some love because he shined, He showed Don Moore some love because Roger used to train him. But like I said with McGregor, he can't hack it in the octagon. Shit, he can't hack it in the damn octagon. So he trying to get back to boxing and get some money. Even He might be even lying about this whole thing, bro. He could be lying about this whole thing. Real talk. Now, I agree just to get some traction going because ain't nobody talking about him no more. Come on. Why don't you go fight Jake Paul or something? That's my thing. Go fight Jake Paul. Go fight Jake Paul. Come on. But you know, nonetheless, it you know it is what it is, man. And um, 
Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the box room or playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, best way to donate. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, the whole the whole nine. Uh, link tree is the first link in the description. Appreciate the love support. Um, one time for the one time. Peace.